we're going to be focusing on the oxidation reactions of alcohols because this is uh, one of the most important types of reactions that um, that can happen to alcohols. We'll start with a little redox revision uh, to just get back up to speed on that. Uh, then we'll look at the general oxidation reaction for primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. And then we'll look at the specific uh, reaction with dichromate, which is the oxidizing agent that's usually used. So since this video is about oxidation reactions of alcohols, um, we'll do a quick review of redox reactions. If you recall, the overall rule uh, is that if that something is oxidized, if it loses electrons, and it is reduced if it gains electrons. So for instance, let's take the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to form water. Uh, recall that the elements in their natural state uh, have an oxidation state of zero. So hydrogen and oxygen gas, that's, uh, both of those are in their natural state as elements, the H2 molecule and the O2 molecule, they both have an oxidation state of zero. In the water molecule, the hydrogen has become plus one. Recall that the general rule is that hydrogen in a molecule will almost always be plus one. Uh, and since water is a neutral molecule, the oxidation states must balance out. So two lots of plus one for the hydrogens, because there are two hydrogen atoms in water, gives a total of plus two. Uh, and there's one oxygen atom to balance that out, so the oxidation state of the oxygen must be minus two. So minus two from the oxygen, plus two from the two hydrogens, gives an uh, overall neutral molecule. So that means that the hydrogen has gone from zero to plus one. So it has lost electrons. Remember that electrons are negatively charged, so if you lose electrons, you must end up with a positive charge. So that means that the hydrogen has been oxidized. Uh, and the oxygen has gone from naught to minus two. So it has gained electrons, so it has been reduced. These rules hold in organic chemistry too. So let's look at the combustion of ethane. We'll go through and work out the oxidation states for each atom. So uh, the oxygen reactant here must be zero again because it's in its elemental state. Uh, if we now look at the this is ethane. If we look at the ethane, we'll say hydrogen in a molecule is usually plus one, so let's call it plus one. There are six hydrogens, so that give, gives a total of plus six. Uh, and we have two carbons that can balance that plus six charge out. So the oxidation state on each of those carbons must be minus three. Two of them together gives a total of minus six. So the overall molecule is neutral, which is what we want. On the other side of the reaction, on the product side, um, recall that when oxygen is in a molecule, it almost always has an oxidation state of minus two. So for carbon dioxide, let's say minus two for the oxygen, but there are two of them, so that's a total of minus four. The carbon has to balance that out, so it must be plus four. And for water, it's just the same as in our uh, previous reaction, uh, minus two for the oxygen and plus one for the hydrogen. So let's see what species have changed their oxidation number in this combustion reaction. Uh, hydrogen has stayed the same, it's plus one on both sides. So carbon has gone from minus three here to plus four here. Going from a negative to a positive means that must have lost electrons, so it's been oxidized. And while oxygen has gone from a zero to a minus two here and also here, so it has been reduced, it has gained electrons.